Hi everybody, Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. This week's tip is going to be a very quick one, but it relates to finding the import data doctor tutorial that's built into Creo Parametric. In other words, I've got a model here that's been imported from a step, step file. How do I get to that import data doctor in order to be able to repair some of the en environment that's going to occur when I bring a model in and it's not able to go solid? So let's uh, just take a look at one of my favorite tools on finding stuff from within Creo Parametric. I'm going to go right into the learning connector. Okay, I'm not even going to go into the help file. And there's a couple reasons why I like to use the learning connector instead of using the search tool within the help center. Actually, there's four reasons. One, if there's a video on the learning exchange, it's nice to be able to review that video tutorial. Number two, if there's a module in e-learning that's available for it, I would like to take advantage of that. Number three, it's going to do my search in a filtered manner through the help center in order to get me there quicker without having to see 50 hits that might have the word import or data or doctor in it. And number four, it also shows me some hits from the knowledge base on ptc.com. There may be something relevant there. Maybe it's uh, an issue that I'm having right now of getting something to stitch together to go solid. So open up that learning connector and then just search for the word words import data doctor and then hit the search tool. Let the software take over from there. And I know this is a little bit hard to, to see here, but in the help center, you're going to see the title data exchange. Pick on that link. From there, you're going to be prompted to log into ptc.com. Pretty simple thing to do. And once I'm in there, it's going to take you right to the data exchange page. This is the nice thing about using the learning connector is you get those automatic filter tools whenever you do a search. The next area that you want to do is pick on the link that says getting started with import data doctor. Once you get in there, there's going to be two different areas that you have access to. One area is going to be downloading the files that are relevant for this. Here's the files that are used for getting started with the import data doctor. The other link is a PDF file, which essentially runs you through the tutorial. The benefit that you get from this is you can download these things onto your network servers, and then you can share these with all of their users. Very simple, easy thing to do. Now, the import data doctor is a very powerful tool. If you were to go through the entire tutorial, it would probably take you about a day's worth of time if you put some effort into it. In other words, going through the exercises, understanding the lecture, portion of it, as well as maybe even trying it out on some of your own models. But this is a very, very important tool and a great place to get started with the Import Data Doctor. If you have any questions with Data Import, feel free to reach out to that your friendly EAC technical account manager, which would be me, or reach out to your account manager. Let them know that you saw this on Doug Hippie's Tip of the Week and you'd like to get more information. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week.